So now in this video, I'm just going to show you that how you will sketch the histogram and how you will sketch the upper control limit, lower control limit, and how you will decide that the process is capable or the process is not capable. So manually, we already calculated what is CP and what is CPK in my previous lecture. I have already discussed different example and there was also a video lecture in which they discussed the coffee machine that when it will be capable uh, at 3 sigma level, at 4 sigma, 5 sigma and 6 sigma and then in the next example, in the CPK example, you already have a look at when the mean change and what will be the impact on the CPK because CP will not uh, measure that variation in the mean, so CPK measure that. So now I am just going to show you a very simple example by using Excel Q1 macros which is a reliable source, which is a reliable software in order to construct a histogram CP and CPK. So in this example you can see this is a diameter data, the, sh the, the car shop diameter data. So I mean the diameter of one specific car is 4.01, the second car diameter is 3.96. So we want to check that the company which producing the shop top car is capable, that their process is capable or not. So now we want to use the Q1 macros which is an add-in in the Microsoft Excel and the current version of my Microsoft Excel is Excel 2019. So you can also download from the website which I have already mentioned in my uh, earlier lecture. You can download the compatible version so after that you will be able to use this. So now you need to select this diameter data. So when you select this data then go to the ribbon then click the Q1 macros. So in the macros there are different start wizards. You can see control chart which we already use. We already construct CP, uh, the, the attribute charts in attribute chart, C chart, P chart, U chart, different charts are available. But now in this particular example, we, are, we want to construct a histogram, we want to construct CP, CPK is the diameter, the data of the diameter which we have collected so far from a specific organization which are producing the shop top car. So, is their process is capable, is they meet the quality, uh, they meet the 3 sigma level, 4 sigma, 5 sigma, 6 sigma. So you need to select, this is the 30, the sample size is 30, so you need to go into this histogram and cap um, uh, capability. So in the histogram and capability, we want to construct histogram CP and CPK. So when you click this one, when you click this one, now this box will be appear. In this box, they are asking you subgroup size. So now basically, if you want to construct a histogram, so there are 30, uh, the sample size is 30. So there will be 30 bars. So we don't want to construct 30 bars because it will make it a little bit complex. So now we will uh, construct this data in, let's suppose we want to construct it in three subgroup. So, okay, I just want to construct this in the three subgroup. Okay. Now, they are asking you that USL upper specification limit. So Excel, this is a default value. Excel automatically take this value, the upper specification limit in this. Okay. So Excel uh, take 4.1. So 4.1 is the upper enter upper specification autonomous limit. Or if you want to check, you want that in order to maintain a specific quality, you want to put an upper specific limit, let's suppose 4.2, 4.3. So I am just using the default value, which is 4.1, which uh, the Q1 macro is already uh, select from the given data, which is 4.1, okay. Then in the second box, you see this LSL, this is lower specification limit. So it, it's on you, it's on your experiment, it's on your own intuition, it's on your own experience. So automatically uh, Q1 macros Excel add in automatically pick this value 3.1 and they choose this from the given selected data. So okay we also not want to change but if you want to change it, if you want to put it 3.8 so it's on you, you can change it. Okay. So now in this box, another box will be appear number of bars. So how many bars in histogram and normal distribution you want? In the histogram, how many bar? Because if you increase the number of bars, let's suppose 10 to 15, it will make it complex. So we don't want to make it complex. We want to only uh, put five bars. So this is also a default value, but if you want to change it, it's okay. You just change it. So I'm just keeping it as it is, which is five. So I just take it. And now, now you can see, you can see from this, this is our 
diameter this is our data which we have collected so far which we have sketched while using q1 macros so you can see this is lower specification limit which is 3.90 and this is upper specification limit which is 4.10 so for these two you can also use control chart if you want to calculate it manually so you can also construct these upper specification limit and lower specification limit so now it's on you but this software will automatically calculate this for you so you can see that 3.9 and 4.1 is our uh, specification limit which is upper one and this one is the lower one and this is our normal distribution so normal distribution as you people know this is a bell shaped curve they have taught never ever touch these values okay these are the values which we are already collected the diameter values which we collected from the survey the data which we collected from a specific organization mean median and mod so mean median these are the values n is the observation values so you can see that the cp value is 0.73 now you you will be able to understand that the cp value when is less than 1 so it's mean that the process is not capable once again the cpk value is 0.68 which is less than 1 so the process is not capable so why the process is not capable this is the point you need to think about because the standard deviation which is which is 0.04 so the standard deviation is 0.04 what does it mean so at 3 sigma at 3 sigma for example uh, uh 3 sigma so what you will do in 3 sigma so in 3 sigma you will Uh, the 3 into 0.04. So 3 into 0.04 will be equal to 0.04 will be equal to 0.12. So 0.12 plus this mean 4.01, 4.01, which is equal to 4.13. So your 3 sigma level will be occur will be appear at this 4.13. So this is your 4.138. the 3 sigma and because on this side we will subtract 3 sigma minus 3 sigma so 3 into 0.04 so which is 0.12 and your mean is 4.01 4.01 minus 3 into 0.04 0.04 so it is 3.89 so you can see 3.89 will be at this point so this process not meet even the 3 sigma level now i hope that you understand because 4.13 is the uh, upper edge for the 3 sigma and 3.89 3.89 is the lower uh, edge of the 3 standard deviation so you can see that most of the area which is the things inside this but this normal distribution is outside from this so that is why cp and cpk is lower than 1 so the process is not capable so at this way uh, you can extract uh, histogram you can extract normal distribution upper control limit lower control limit and this sheet showing you the diameter this is the range these are the different decimal range different uh, data which we have already calculated cp cpk values okay so a uh, skewness so skewness is negative so standard deviation is this one minimum is 3.92 maximum is this one range each and everything it's calculate for you this software so in your analysis you can easily copy that and you can put that and you can interpret it